Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Let's Both Play Resident Evil 5. This game came out in 2009, and it's a co-op focused third-person horror shooter. So I've enlisted the help of my good friend Ronan Drake. I'm back! <laughs> if you've been a viewer for a while, you might remember him as my partner from Let's Both Play Dead Space 3. And I've been looking forward for a ch to a chance to get him back on the videos. Uh, well, first, let's hear the uh, name of the game. Resident Evil. <laughs> I always loved that. Yeah. The dude ominously saying the name of the game. Um, before we begin, I'm going to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I don't know nothing. Yeah. We stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate, the audio levels, you know, how loud we are compared to each other. But other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to us. We're going to play the game for the first time ever. And you guys get to come along for the ride. So, without further ado, here's a jump cut past the boring networking stuff. So we can play Resident Evil 5. Well, we know it's a lady. Or, well... He is not happy. I don't think she's gonna help. Guy is not having a good day. Captain Deshant here. We secured the underground route to the coordinates. Well, okay then. So then we cut to somebody having a road trip. Should have seen it coming. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for the bio that for a minute. to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic Ugh. spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium which formed the anti-terrorism unit. So much for Goat Simulator. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Is that my ass? I think that's your ass. Uh. My name is Sheva Alamar. Chris Redfield. Jesus, those veins. You, Mr. Redfield. It's an honor. Just Chris, thanks. So you'll be accompanying me to the destination? Yes. Tensions are running high ever since the change in government. I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American, BSAA or not. That's why I'm your partner. Help put them at ease. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Partner. Uh. Oh, dip. I think it's at 2006. Okay? Yeah, sorry. It's nothing. Let's that go. was a couple years after 4? Yes. I assume yeah, this one takes place in 2009. Over the long years I've struggled. I can't help but note that I am the lightest African here. Wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Maybe one day I'll find out. Hey, hey. You don't have to get touchy. Let's go. Is that idea or a bribe? 
Yes. There is one thing I do know. I have a job to do, and I'm gonna see it through. So, uh, should we bring up the, the controversy that everyone had with this game, or? Uh... I just want to see where this goes. Ah, okay. This is Kirk. Chris, Sheva, can you read me? Chris here. Coming in loud and clear, Kirk. Yes, we read you. There's a black market weapons deal going down in Kijuju. That's where Irving will be. The Alpha Team has already infiltrated the area, and you will be going in as backup. Rendezvous with your contact at the butcher's shop. You can gear up and get briefed on the mission there. Watch your backs. Roger that. Copy. Over and out. So the very first trailer for this game, the announcement trailer, was just Chris Redfield, white foreigner, being chased by hordes of uh, black zombies or not zombies or whatever they are in this game. And people said, well, you know, there are kind of connotations there. Especially since he's this giant buff man. And everybody else was, like, you know, scrawny and starving looking. Yeah. And while we, while you do have an African partner, I appear to be about at least 12 shades lighter than everyone else. Yes. So, let's see. The butcher shop, I guess it's the arrow on the map. Specialist in computer services. Hmm. around these buildings. Ooh. The hunt for loot begins. A is run. Surprised that watch just doesn't snap off my arm from the tension. Uh, just wait. That'll happen when, the first time you pull the trigger. <laughs> just the flex. It's probably the best that we're, you know, on this mission, because bioterrorism in this universe is viruses that turn people into monsters and stuff. Yeah, yeah and even though Chris is like, oh, what's the point anymore? Oh, they are... Beating, beating the shit out of a bag? Oh, uh, hey guys. You want to do something about this? Can we do something about this? Uh, well, they're looking at us now. I don't like this guy with the machete. And you first. Yeah. Sup. God, if looks good, kill. Wouldn't you rather be back in America than a place like Whoa, 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 listen. <laughs> Not necessarily. I'm just, you know, Some people might yeah. think America has its own dark side. That doesn't sound very patriotic. I'm just a realist. It's a capitalist society. Not everyone is cut out for that kind of constant pressure. Sure, there are opportunities to be had, but at what price? You gain, someone else loses. You don't sound like any American I've ever met. That's the great thing about us Americans. We're all different. Okay, so what came over in my earpiece, um, which you don't appear to be wearing? I had to start a conversation between us about how all Americans are different. Oh, there's something from the... Yeah. They want us to hurry up. Yeah. Well, I was just saying that last part of the conversation came over in my earpiece. Like, it switched over from the, uh, the normal oh. audio. Oh! Because we were far away from each other or something. Yeah, and I went into a different room or something, and I was just saying, I don't think you're wearing an earpiece. Oop. Oh, that's right. We, uh, discovered while... Well, fucking around on that first spot that uh, you can pull down R and target your partner. Yeah, I think it's it's partner location. That's what it says. In the... Uh, Damn, uh, Chris really is ripped. Controller settings. It's about a million degrees uh, hotter than it is outside right now. Here, I mean. Oop. 
I'll go ahead and guess the air raid siren is a bad sign. <laughs> My spidey sense is tingling. Hey, where are the guys kicking the, the bag? Where is anyone? Oops. Live demo, folks. These things happen. There's the house phone. <laughs> oh, there's the butcher shop. I don't like the way everyone has vanished. Yeah, they, they even picked up the bag of cat, I'm assuming. Kind of big. Maybe a dog. Um, it's some animal. Yeah. Or a very small person. Oh, no, I really don't like the implications. Fresh and quality meat. Just sitting out there. It's not even in a freezer. Well, you think they can afford Shut freezers out here? Go around to the side door. Okay, Oop. she... I'm told to go back to the side. I was distracted. I did not see that guy. I was distracted by the rotting meat. Yeah, they oh. can't afford freezers out here. You see any power lines? No. Maybe that's one. Over there. That's the building that has power. And to think they were selling computers. Just a second. Sorry about that, folks. I believe we were heading in here. Hello. Sup. My sandals. Good. You're both here. Come. If you say so. I remember that from that very long you thing too. I just read. This way. So do I. But maybe because of the new government, the people around here are a little on edge. You should do what you came here to do and go home. Yeah. They really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. I have your weapons for you here. Jet them. Grab your weapons. The operation's already started. Right? It says I'm full. Yes. How do you get to the inventory? There is an inventory. I saw it earlier. Why? Yes! Why? Alright. And then equip. Alright. Oh, it's, it shows us what uh, the other person is carrying. Destination coordinates. Found squares up ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Good. What do you know about Uroboros? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. Doomsday sounds about right, and apparently it is no rumor. You're kidding, right? You must find a man named Irving. He is our only lead. Now I have an earpiece. And be careful out there. Unless they come with your chest straps. Hmm. So, RE4 had the whole inventory Tetris thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, investigate. It's swarming with bugs. It looks rotten. Way ahead of you, Chris. It's full of maggots. I won't be buying meat here. <laughs> oh, I say it's full of maggots. Disgusting. Read document. Dying. When you're like to... Oh, it's this... When your life gauge is fully depleted due to taking damage, your status will change to dying. If this status is played for your partner, you can revive him or her by pressing B while nearby. You cannot revive yourself. The game will end if your partner is unable to assist you before time runs out, or if both of you and your partner are in the dying state at the same time. Uh, there's another document here about control schemes. Which one do we have? I'll just, you know, uh, check that real quick. 
Yeah, this first one for me says, it's covered with insects. I think I'll keep my distance. So are we both going to have to do all the investigate prompts? Oh, there's dying. Yes. Uh, okay, you're down but not out. Fair enough. <laughs> investigate. Holy shit, Chris. This is a lot bigger than Leon's knife ever was. Ooh. Where's my knife? Do I? Uh, left bumper. Uh. I wonder if Chris is overcompensating, except he's gigantic, so... It's just proportional. Oh, of course. Look at this thing on his back! He looks It's like a short sword! How about mine? Is more of like a kukri with a curved handle. Yeah, yeah. Where does she hide that? I think on her leg. There's your holster. Uh... Yeah, it's it's on my hip, right? Oh, yeah, my there it is. So it's starting to say, uh, four had the inventory Tetris, and they took that out for five, which was kind of an unpopular decision. But the reason they did that is to really make you depend on your partner, because you know, each of you can only carry nine things. Also, I imagine doing Tetris in co-op is not help. Nope, like Spike. Yes, yeah, because saying, uh, yeah, even yeah, pausing yeah, the game teams. doesn't pause the game. Happens, we stick together. Don't worry. I may not be as big as you, but I can still hold my own. I think we both collect... What am, I, what am I investigating? A conveniently placed wood crate. Oh, it's another, uh... I think we both get, however, uh, any money we pick up. Yeah, that seemed to be what I was getting from the, uh... Oh. Oh, I don't like that. That's right, you can't aim and move at the same time. The body's still warm. Why is this here? I think it's a goat. Kind of hard to tell without the head. Mine just says, it's still warm. Oh, God. You thought the goat was bad. Let's peek around this. Oh, I can't go around the corner because I won't step over the goat body. Can I... Nope, you cannot break the cardboard boxes. They just react with physics. Sounds like somebody's, uh, crawling around. There's an animal carcass on the table. Is it for some ceremony? Oh, okay. they actually animate the maggots. That's horrible. Ugh. Animal carcass. Is this for some ceremony? I guess not all of them can be unique. Yeah. Is this a thing I can open? No. Rub okay. myself against... Oh, I'm... I lagged for a second there. I shot something. The writing is erratic. All outsiders will receive the Blade of Punishment. We will bless them with a sacred death. We will release them from their bonds of wickedness. Great. Hey, well, I picked up an herb. Which turned into a vial. Oh. In the, uh, the menu before we actually started, you could look at the details on an item. That doesn't seem to be the case in-game. Here's another herb around the corner. I mean, we should probably get that one. Nope. Dude ran past the window, I think. There's a sound effect I remember. If this is like RE4, you can double tap X to open the door much quicker. Yep. Action kick. That was not a good sound. I don't know if you caught that. Yeah, I heard the screaming. Arg? I, I think we got to do this one together. Yeah, it's a cutscene thing. B was listed as co-op action in the uh, menu. Oh, yeah.
Um. Well, I don't like any of this. Ooh, I did not approve. Okay, I saw that. No. Okay. This is happening. Stomp the body. Oh. Can, can we stomp the bodies in this one? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Okay. Ow. Uppercut. I got an X prompt there. I'm gonna shoot him while he's down. Oh, I got a prompt for impale. Maybe this saves the ammo on the very first guy, now that I think about it. What the hell just happened? They didn't move like any zombies I've ever seen. Oh yeah, it's like like the line at the very beginning of RE4, he's not a zombie. Damn right. Um, okay. Oh, there's the timer. So on that cheery note, I guess that'll do it for the uh, premiere episode of Let's Both Play Resident Evil 5. Uh, I'm Burning Dogface. And I'm Ronan Drake. And we'll see you next time when we find out who exactly is going around shoving bugs in people's mouths. <laughs> Later.